Welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be doing a full engine service on this Skoda Karok. So the first thing we need to do before we carry out the service is pull the dipstick out, loosen the oil filler cap, raise the vehicle in the air and remove the under tray. And the under tray is held in by a couple of T25 screws and three T45 screws. Now that the under tray has been removed, we can remove the sun plug, which is here. And it's a 19mm socket. And while that's draining, we can move around to the front of the engine and locate the oil filter. The oil filter is just up there, behind this uh, pump for the coolant. So what we need to do, we need to take that T25 bolt out of there, and then that will remove the pump just enough for us to get to the filter. So the first thing you need to do is disconnect the electric plug, and then get a T25 socket and take out this bolt. And then it should move out of place like that. And then if we come around here, that's the oil filter. So to remove the filter, you're going to need a 24mm socket. So I'll bring the filter over to your mercy table, remove the filter, and remove the o-ring. Now you're going to want to give this filter cartridge a good clean out, and then we'll bring it back over here and reassemble it. Now that the filter cartridge is nice and clean, we can get our new filter. Should be our O-ring set. Slide the new O-ring on, and make sure it's correctly seated. And then with the new filter, just put it in place until you hear the click, and that's ready to fit back on the car. Before you put the new filter back in the car, make sure you put a little bit of engine oil over the O-ring. And then same as the reverse of the removal. While the water pump is off, give it a good clean. So refit your water pump and don't forget to plug it back in, otherwise it won't work. Fit your new sun plug.
Next you want to grab a cube of oil and refill your engine oil. The next item on this engine service is the diesel filter. This is located here. Uh, you need a T Torx 20 and take five of these small bolts out. Once the bolts have been removed, you can just simply manipulate the cap up without spilling too much diesel. Pull the filter out. It's good practice to drain all of the old diesel out of the um, filter housing so you can inspect it and clean it thoroughly. Once you're happy, it's all nice and clean, it's been inspected. Make sure the seat where the seal of the filter goes is nice and clean. Then get your new filter and pop it into place. And refit the five small bolts and just tighten them up in a diagonal pattern as that's good practice and make sure everything is seated equally. Well down. Let's go around them one last time just to double check. And to prime that filter, we'll do that a bit later when we connect our diagnostic laptop to the car. And our last filter to change on this engine service is our air filter. And for this, you're going to need a Torx 25 and just take out eight of the air filter housing skewing screws Air filter out, old air filter out. So grab our mate Henry and give it a quick hoover. Grab our new filter. Like that, press it down and then refit the eight screws that you took out of the cover, and that's all of the components we need to replace on the service. Done, we just need to prime the fuel filter and uh, reset the service interval light. 
before we can start the car, we need to prime our diesel filter. So to do this, you need to connect your diagnostic laptop to the car, go to engine, and then basic settings. And then from the drop down menu, you need to select test transfer fuel pump. And what this does, it'll activate the fuel pump that's in the tank and send diesel to the empty diesel filter. Uh, do this for a couple of seconds until you can hear the noise of the pump change. That means that the filter is full. Uh, once this is full, you can stop the test. And now you are ready to start your car. Once you've left the engine running for a little while and shut it down, leave the oil settle. Then we can check the dipstick again. Make sure the oil level is correct. As you can see, yeah, it's about just over half on the dipstick. That leads me to another point. When you fill these engines up, make sure it is around half on the dipstick. Don't fill it all the way up to the top because when the oil expands, which it will, uh, it will bring um, a warning light on the dash saying that the engine has too much oil in it. And then you'll have to take it back to the garage to have them suck it out. So that's one thing to check. Always make sure it's halfway up the dipstick. We'll turn your ignition on. As you can see, we got the oil change service inspection. So, on your steering wheel, you got a button here that scrolls up and down to different um, values to be displayed. So, scroll to range, click on range. And then on this button here, you need to press and hold it for 10 seconds. release the button and this will bring up the service menu so you can reset the oil service here and your inspection it's just a case of going through each one that uh, you've carried out and resetting them I hope you found the video helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if there's anything that you'd like to see in the future, you know, please leave a comment and we'll see what we can do. Thanks again.